Yo guys, in this video I'll be going over how to get more arena points in Season 5. In other words, this video should cover up how to get more arena points in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 quickly. So how this video is going to work guys is that I will be showing you different reasons to why pro players are reaching champs division and overall getting so many arena points but why you yourself aren't exactly getting the amount of arena points you could potentially be getting. For those of you guys who are not aware already, many factors determine why you are getting a lot of arena points or why exactly you are not at that top tier level. One major factor of getting a lot of arena points is having a good playstyle. Now the reason why having a good playstyle is of course crucial is because a pro player I know by the name Tavish just by having a good playstyle ended up accumulating 30,000 arena points last season. Now I will be going over a lot of methods I've learned from both him and other pro Fortnite players so this video should have you covered no matter what skill level you are at. So if this video helps you in any way and only if it does help you, please consider dropping a like and subscribing because it only takes two seconds out of your day. You know, that's that's two buttons you have to press and by doing that you're making my day guys. And obviously hit that post notification bell as well. But remember guys, only if this video helps you and let's move on to the first method. So in this game I used a lot of tricks that I will be going over in this tips and tricks video. So this is why I'm going over this game first. So one thing I do want to go over, this is not really a method, but this is to just use the early in-game. Now I don't know what it's called, but when you guys are in Spawn Island, use it to your advantage. Don't be like the others and pretend to be AFK, but go on there, test your aim on player standing still. You know, it is always better to have that extra mile of practice within your gameplay. This just gives you some extra time before the game to stand out from the rest of your opponents and just have some good time to yourself to just get used to everything. Because over time, we all get worse at building, editing. It just is how it is. Now, in addition to the point I made in the introduction, you guys want to be making sure you have a great playstyle. This means that you and your teammate should have a really good drop spot and should be sticking to it together. You guys should also be following a certain pathway to getting kills and going to a certain direction every single game. It's really good to do this because you guys can build a lot of knowledge on your gameplay and you can kind of have a bit of a guess of what's about to happen. In my instance, me and my teammate usually land at Slurpee and then when we go close to Desert, we already know that there's going to be a lot of kids there, which makes us have time to prepare and we already know what we're up for so therefore guys you want to make sure you have a great play style in arena and if you're doing arena duos you want to build that same play style with your teammate now one mistake me and my teammate made right here guys is that we were kind of split up a key thing to remember in arena guys is that you should always be stuck with your duo nine out of ten times you die in arena this is because you and your duo are split apart you guys should be making sure that you're always stuck together as a duo like jam and toast and also occasionally it is of course fine to push as a solo but that's only if you know it's a free kill and other than that guys you should always be stuck together now something good that me and my teammate actually did do is over here we had really great communication skills although he did end up getting knocked we were right next to each other tried to maintain that good tried to maintain that good bit of sticking together and so he did guys and that was just a free kill to our names so over here me and my teammate did as we usually we go to like the center of the desert and try and look for potential kills now there's always people here and our trick did not fail us so we stuck together and straight away went up to this duo now as i was speaking about earlier there are times where you have a free kill and should go for the kill yourself this was one of those times and unfortunately i was playing like a zombie guys i did not know what on earth i was doing as you can see i failed my reset and this just made it risky for me now unless you have god aim you could have clutched that up but the guy went into my box forgot to reset that wall and this did leave my teammate to have to 2v1 now luckily guys my teammate is built differently he managed to secure us a free kill right there so we got the points what made him find this exceptionally easy is that he is insane with the charged shotgun now with a new chapter and a new season of the game right now in chapter 2 season 5 it is apparent that we have no pump shotguns which is why you guys need to find out whether charges or tacks are your best bet okay so right here is the game where we absolutely popped off we got about 25 kills this game this was a crazy game you would never believe what happened here right off spawn i made such an embarrassing play now the reason i died off spawn is simply because i wasn't paying attention and just spammed my pistol what smart players do which separates good players and bad players is that you guys should be taking your time with your shots it's always better to angle up good and effective shots than to just spray and hope for the best because rarely spraying helps to my advantage guys i was lucky enough to get rebooted and given a second chance to play now with this kill 
skill I got right now, this covers up my next point. This is to have great chemistry with your teammate. Now, me and my teammate did have a few comms here and there. We did say that as soon as I was going to get rebooted, we were going to target this kid. And we ended up getting the kill by doing so. Most importantly, you guys want to be playing to just try your best and give it all you've got. That way, you guys have a great mindset and both you and your duo partner can work together and communicate well. One important point that I want to make is to have a great, and I cannot express this enough, a great playstyle with your duo. Now by having a great playstyle, me and my teammate know when to encounter people, who we're going to encounter and where. These are the three main factors that I call making somebody stand out in arena. Now we know that this kid's going to be right here as we usually engage a fight right between going from here into zone. These guys were way worse than us and we both stuck together which led us to the victory in getting both eliminations. We shook this guy down and we knew that they weren't the best of players. And therefore, we secured another kill. Me and my teammate knew these guys were absolutely terrible at the game. I mean, we could tell from the start as soon as we saw them take rift fishes and just try their best to avoid us. Just like always, our plan never fails us. We have a really good playstyle, so we ended up going to the desert area, and as soon as we got there, we got an instant refresh to max mats. And right behind, we saw another opponent. And over here guys, I outplayed this guy, this was insane. Now it was this point in time when me and my duo realized we had a really good third zone or moving zone and we thought that this would be a really great opportunity to get a lot of points. Now right over here is when I popped off for the team. I knew it was going to be a smart play if I stayed in zone a little bit because I knew that there were a lot of people near me. This gave me a really good opportunity to third party my opponents. And right here is when I secured no two nice like kills to our name. Oh, I should have picked up mats. There's mats in Storm, I missed all of them. Unfortunately, I did not pop that mini, which made it so that they got the win. We could have got that win. I do believe it would have been a better game if so, but we did still pop off and that was a good game. So guys, I hope this video did teach you some new things in Arena. I hope that it helped you at least get to Champions Division if you're not on so already, or at least get close to it and pop off some more. Now, as you guys are aware, in the intro of this video, I did ask for a subscription if this helped you in any way. So of course, it would be much appreciated if you just spent one second hitting that subscribe button because you made it this far into the video i'm pretty sure you wouldn't mind spending a good second hitting that subscribe button also you support a creator code joe's hd and i hope to see you guys progress in fortnite chapter 2 season 5 see you in the next one